بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Dear brothers and sisters, inshallah ta'ala, wherever you are, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you all safe and secure in these difficult times. Just to continually make you understand, just to reflect, inshallah ta'ala, it's, it's very much like uh, we are competing against the algorithms of social media. So the more we push forward what is this movement about of heart C, then that is a very important algorithm. So just to recap, heart C has been established because we are in a crisis of perception of how we are seeing the world. That it, we are not in an economic or social or political or even an environmental crisis. These are but symptoms of a deeper crisis. That we are in a Western society, which is a tajadic controlled system which really, if you start to look through the research, has taken place since around the 17th and 18th century. It has been a program, continues to be a program, in which to re rewire mankind. And the majority of mankind has now made hijra to the cities. And this is where the majority of mankind have now become hardwired. Social media is just the beginning. AI is the next step, and whatever happens, inshallah ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Ameen. We know that in the end of times, this Dajjalic system, that the event of the Dajjal is very close, and the ulama also inform us of this. Once the Dajjal in the human form comes, then we have the descent of Isa salam and Imam Mahdi. We have three options, my dear brothers and sisters. We either prepare now to go off-grid for this Hijra, wherever it may be, and wherever we can go. We start to prepare now to get the skills and the ability of knowing how to move off-grid as the masses move into the cities, we need to go in the opposite direction. Or we wait until the Dajjal comes and then it's 50-50. Or we continue with our heads buried in the sand like ostriches and we face a major crisis. The whole point of going off-grid, wherever it may be, within brackets hijra is to protect our iman and our family's imams and our friends and our friends also to go off grid to flee is none other than to be able to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I have not created jinn and mankind except to worship me that is our purpose in this life to understand La ilaha illallah to witness ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu and so this is why we have to flee the dajjalic system western civilization if you do not agree then unfortunately then you must have your head in the sand because it has been established around us and the jigsaw puzzle is near enough complete may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and so heart C has been established and, and it is behind the first ayat revealed to the Prophet I've given many many lectures in this uh, particular reason and how it connects not just to the Quran that was revealed to the Prophet but how it connects to the Book of Nature, the Al-Quran al -Taqwini. For us to enable to, for us to be able to go off-grid, it means to leave this dunya, this Western civilization, to, to, to disconnect from social media, from all aspects of this life. It's a challenge. It is about survival. 
and so if we're going to go off grid it means to be able to re it means that we need to connect to the natural world we will be living in the natural world and the only way that we will survive is by living in harmony with the natural world which is to live in divine order so to be able to do this my dear respected brothers and sisters we need to be able to understand the natural world we need to be able to read to understand the language of the natural world to make sure that we are working with the rhythms of the natural world because we are seeing facade and corruption on the earth as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran because mankind has disregarded the natural orders mankind has disregarded the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the universal laws if we want to go and live off grid we have to be able to connect and to fall in love with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation and by falling in love with the creation of course then we are falling in love with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so heart see is a journey it is about an internal and an external change an internal hijra and an external hijra looking at the internal landscape and the external landscape social permaculture land-based permaculture I've spent all my life working throughout the world in remote parts of Africa as tracking field guide expert environmental consultancy teaching about the natural world and so now I'm bringing all of my many years of the natural world under my belt with my Islamic sciences to, to bring it all together in a package to try and do what I can to teach you, to help you and guide you and prepare you and your families to enable you to go off grid to make Hijra in the best way possible. And so as we lead now up to the month of Ramadan, the courses will, will now start to come out online to help those who, who obviously are not in this country but also practical workshops here in the UK and I urge you please to try and attend as many as, as possible it is only through the practical workshops that we can really understand and so we will go through about for many of us we've never really connected to the natural world what does nature connectedness actually mean it is not just walking outside how do we use our five senses what does it mean by nature mindfulness how do we study the signs of nature how do we study the language of nature how do we study the patterns of nature all so important for off-grid living we need to be able to understand in depth about ecological eco literacy we need to understand about systems thinking we need to understand about the principles of nature we need to understand deeply about social permaculture and the connection between that and Tazkir and nafs we need to connect the quran revealed to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to the al quran al taqwini the book of nature we need to be able to penetrate the signs, the ayat in the Quran as well as in the natural world. We need to understand the fakku, the deep Islamic contemplation. We need to understand in depth, in depth about why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is continually saying why do you not see, why do you not see, why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use different terms for seeing basara, nadara, ra'a we need to understand this in order for us to live in harmony with the natural world so we need to also understand about permaculture about the design how to grow how to harvest we need to understand about forest gardening about designing and, and establishing your own forest edible ecosystem we need to understand about livestock, how to have cows, how to have sheep, how to have goats, how to have ducks, chickens, quail and geese, how to rotate them correctly on your land. We need to be able to understand how do I become a beekeeper, a bee farmer. We need to understand about falconry 
to be able to use birds of prey to hunt for food that we can install. If we go deep off grid, we would need to learn about dogs, hunting dogs, sheep dogs, scent dogs, guard dogs, different species of dogs for different tasks. And dogs are there in the Quran as well. We need to be, to be able to learn survival skills, tracking skills, wilderness skills, navigation skills. This has been my life for over 35 years working in the remote parts of Africa, working with a Bushman. And so, and this was my journey to Al-Islam many, many years ago. So with that and my Islamic sciences as well, working with the ulama for many years around the world, I now want to bring both of those together to help you and guide you and support you in the best way that I can. So by establishing Hasi, it is a movement to transform how we see the world. That we must see and start to transfer how we see the world through the Quranic lens and not the Tujaric lens. So it is about rewiring. It is about reconnecting. It is about rewilding. It is about redesigning. And lastly, it is about re-establishing. Please stay tuned because now the courses will start to come out. Please look for them on the different platforms, both online and practical. If you are in the UK, please, please try and attend the courses as much as possible, either on your own or as a family. They will be based mainly here in the beautiful uh, countryside of Gloucestershire. Uh, and for those that are unable or around the world, we will try and do what we can to support you with the online courses as as well. If you are children and doing homeschooling parents, I have established many amazing curriculum, uh, outdoor, outdoor madrasa curriculum courses which can support you and your children through homeschooling or if you want to set up your own madrasa as well. Well established courses for your children there's something for everyone and it's the time now that we really need to do something about it. time is running out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says well asr in al insan al fikus illa alladheena aamanu wa aamilu s-sariati wa tawassaw bil haqq wa tawassaw bi sab verily mankind is in loss time is running out my dear brothers and sisters we need to try and understand how to survive. We need to understand and grasp as many skills as possible because the Tajalic system, the final jigsaw puzzle, the bits is near enough in place. That means that the event of the Tajal will be here. We have to plan, we have to be ready now and we must start our rewiring now. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with you, protect you, keep you safe and secure. Please stay tuned for all of the causes that will be coming out very shortly, right up to the month of Ramadan, and they will also continue afterwards as well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.